Hello everybody, my name is Tubusplat, and yes, I'm making a video once again. It has been a while, uh, obviously, since I made a video. Um, especially one like this, where it's just me, myself, and I. Um, and it's not a gaming video, like a stream video kind of stuff. So today I thought I would show you um, my console... Sorry, my dog just shook. My console gaming uh, setup. Um, i kind of been meaning to do this for a while now, um, now that I look at it, all of it's there except for my PS3, um, and I will show you in a minute what I mean, as now the sun goes behind the clouds and makes everything a stop darker. Okay, so here is my setup, it's just, I don't even know, it's just a shelf I've had, uh, here for quite a while, um, and it's just kind of, I've had it for a while and it's just, had a lot of weird stuff on it, and then at one point I just got tired of placing my PS4 on the trusty dusty box here. Um, so then I wanted to, yeah, uh, do a better setup. So I apologize because I know like all these cords and everything, it's really distracting. Um, and it's kind of all in the way, but um, ignore the Hess trucks, that's something else completely. So I got my PS4 here. Um, as always, my good friend Plank. My PS3 is in there. Um, I don't hardly play it. I think I, if I, if I did have it hooked up, I'd probably put it on top of the PS4, but I don't think that would be a great idea, um, for heating purposes. And then who knows, like, over time, the amount of weight that the PS3 is, how much that could damage my Pro. So... Yeah, I don't play my 3 very often. I'm kind of thinking I'd go back and play Red Dead Redemption uh, 1 because I finished this bad boy just recently, finally, after a month of it being released. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's my PS4. And then I got my Switch with the... It's not a pro controller. I don't even know what kind of controller it is, this, but it's just a controller that you just put the Joy-Cons in. Um, I was playing my Switch undocked for quite a while when I first got it, and then now I I just play it when it's docked. Um, mostly because I, I don't know, as long as I've got it plugged in, um, I just use it that way. And then I got my, my old Wii that doubles as a GameCube, as you can see. It's still plugged in, and the memory card... Right there. So that's uh, my middle shelf, my top shelf. It, I just put here... I know it's really blinding. Hang on. Nope, doing it the other way. Um, got my games that I... Rec like, the games I play more often, like, in the time span that I've been... I, like, if I'm playing a lot of games lately, I'll just put them here on the top shelf. So I got Red Dead, uh, WWE 2K and the garbage game Fallout 76 <laughs> okay <laughs> I shouldn't say that because I have the game I shouldn't say that but um, I don't know to me it's I mean not to say, not to join on the bandwagon that everybody says it's a garbage game that it feels empty um, but that's another video for another time but I like 76 but right now I'm just kind of stagnant and I really haven't played it. I just wanted to finish Red Dead. Well, let me get the brightness back up here because it's really drastic from outside to inside the house. Uh, I got my S, my extended storage, my extended storage, uh, uh, flat, not flash drive. You know what I mean? Extended storage hard drive. I got my Dual Shock Four. This is the the one that came with the. Uh, the Pro. Then I got uh, my favorite console of all time, the PlayStation 2. I do have the original uh, PS2 controllers, um, but just for the sake of it being wired. And to be honest, I've had this controller for I have no idea how long. It's only had one set of battery in it, and it still works after... I would say over 10 years. There's only been one set of battery in this controller and it still works. Granted, I can turn it off or on. 
as you can see my very dirty PS2 um, yeah there's an on and off switch so maybe that's what saves the battery I don't know probably considering that the Wii controller goes through batteries like absolutely nothing um, but I as you can tell by the fingerprints I have been playing my PS2 I have been playing it lately I'm doing a playthrough on Ratchet and Clank series so far I'm just on the first game uh, let's see what else is there uh, I guess um, not so much the bottom because it just has the power bricks and all the cords and everything power strip again the GameCube controller um, or maybe the, <laughs> the only other DualShock controller I have I have that there because um, for a while I was playing Fallout New Vegas on uh, I was playing Fallout New Vegas on my PC and I was hooking it up to my com my TV, which I'll show you in a second. And because I'm console ridden, I need to have controller support for every PC game that I play. So yeah, <laughs> so I'm kind of console ridden, and I need a controller even for PC games. Okay, now we move up here, and I've got my HDMI splitter um, and my RCA splitter on top of our dish box. Um, this switches automatically depending on what is what it detects to be on and yes i still have the plastic on it because i don't that's more dusting i don't have to worry about uh so like this is well my ps4 was plugged in here but now it's over here because i don't know i think it's got to be with the splitter that every so often i'll be playing my ps4 and then all of a sudden like it flickers on the screen um and so I get really tired of it. Basically, I have to just keep unplugging the HDMI, plugging back in. So I put it in port three as opposed to one. But my Switch is plugged in here. My PS4 is plugged in here. And then I got my Wii and my PS2 hooked into this RCA splitter. Um, I have no problem with each of with well the RCA splitter. I do have that little problem with the HDMI, but otherwise it works really well. And I was really surprised that this switches automatically. So. Like, say if I played on my PS2, excuse me, my PS4 for a while, it would be on port 3 and then, or just even like now, if it's turned off and I want to play on my Switch, it'll automatically switch to port 2. I wouldn't have to manually switch it, even though there is a button right here. Um, the RCA splitter, on the other hand, does not. i got to manually set that. I think, I don't know. I might be getting that one filled up. Or it depends, kind of, because um, I have the Sega Genesis flashback um, on my Christmas list, so that that might get filled up, or either one of these might get filled up with the Sega Genesis. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of it. But um, yeah, I didn't further. I did further elaborate that this also doubles as my GameCube, as the PS2 doubles as my PlayStation One. Um, and I'm kind of thinking, I don't know if I might. I'm thinking I might do like games collection, like my own personal game collection. I do have a plan for a video right after this video. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see like a collection of my games or at least my PlayStation Classic 2 and 3, because my 4 has a bit of, I mean, most of my PS4 games are physical, but some of them are digital. But if you guys want to know like my games collection, let me know in the comments below. Um, and I can get that worked out for you guys. So yeah, guys, that is my gaming setup. It is a little much to be desired. It's not perfectly ideal, but for the space that I have and the, yeah, for the space that I have, it's the best for what I can do. Um, yeah, I just put like all the power bricks and all everything else put on the bottom and so on and so forth. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like on this video and to subscribe and hit that bell notification button for future content, wherever that is. I don't know. It's been a while since I uploaded like this. So once again, thank you everybody so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.